once, twice, thrice upon a time, back when the world was still trying on its colours. Birds didn't make nests. They just laid their eggs wherever they happened to be at the time. Well, you can imagine the results. The top of a tree, roll, splat. The top of a cliff, roll, splat. The side of a hill, roll, well, you get the idea. Not only that, but the eggs that did survive and didn't get splatted would be tripped over by other animals as they were going about their daily business. Magpie, being the cleverest of all the birds, decided there must be a different way to do this. There must be some way to protect the eggs and make sure that the chicks would be able to hatch and grow. She looked at what was happening with the eggs that did survive. Usually they seemed to be stopped from rolling in some way. They were often on something soft, maybe rounded. Hmm, she thought. Perhaps, perhaps I could build a little platform for the eggs or maybe a little house maybe a nest if you will and so taking her idea she collected sticks from all over the woodland floor and she flew up to a high branch and she made a little platform with sticks sticking out here there and everywhere and soon she'd made a little circle it looked wonderful she thought and she landed on it but the sticks were bumpy and prickled, and it wasn't at all comfortable. Hmm, said Magpie grumpily, and flew off chattering. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on a minute, said Crow. What, what are you doing? Well, I'm trying to make a nest, said Magpie, but it's, it's too uncomfortable. It's not working. Well, it looks perfect to me, said Crow. Can I have it? Sure, said Magpie. And off she chattered. Crow, meanwhile, settled into the nest. It was high in the treetops and gave her a perfect view over the rest of the woodland. Ah, oh, she thought, this is perfect. And she has made her nest just like that ever since. Magpie, meanwhile, had flown down to the river where it was all muddy and soft at the river bank. Hmm, she thought, mud. That's nice and soft. And she scooped some mud up in her beak and she flew up to the um, cliff at the side of the river and she smeared some mud onto the side of it. And then she flew back and got some more and smeared more and then more and then more and built it up until it was a nice, soft, mud-shaped wedge with a little dimple in the top. Yeah, she thought, that looks quite comfortable. And she flew down and sat on top of it. But it was sticky and it started to slide under her weight. <laughs> she creaked and flew off, chirping and chattering. The Martins were wondering what on earth was going on. And she explained that she was trying to build a nest so that her eggs had somewhere to secure to stay. That's a good idea, they thought. So they started to make nests out of mud using the eaves of buildings because they were much more sheltered. Magpie, meanwhile, had flown off to think about what else she could use. Small sticks, small sticks and, and little bits of grass. Maybe that was the answer. And so she, she flew and she collected nice neat little tiny twigs and bits of grass and she wove them together into the cutest little round nest. But it was too small, far too small. So she flew off chattering. Blackbird, however, had been watching her and thought that this new nest was just perfect. And she moved in and she's been building nests just like that ever since. Ma uh, magpie flew off. Maybe a big nest. Small one didn't work. Big. Let's go big. Enormous. That's it. So she found a tree standing on its own in the middle of a loch. And she flew off into the forest collecting massive branches and twigs as big as she could possibly carry. And she built up layer upon layer upon layer to make a nice big platform. 
She made sure there was a nice dimple in the middle with smaller sticks. Yeah, she thought that looks better. And she flew down and landed on one edge to admire her work. But as she did, a stick on the other side of the nest popped out of place. So she hopped over and tucked it back in. A stick on the other side popped out. So she had to hop over and push that back in. Another one back where she started had popped out. Oh, she thought, having a big nest is just too much like hard work. So she flew off, chattering angrily. A pair of ospreys had been flying past and they saw this giant platform. It looked perfect and they landed and they've been nesting there ever since. Magpie, meanwhile, was hopping off through the woods again, trying to work out what to do. When it began to rain, typical, honestly, raining again. Aha, she thought, raining. It rains quite a lot. I want to keep my nest dry. I should put a roof on it. That would make it perfect. And so, Using what she'd already learnt, she built up a small platform using sticks that weren't too small and weren't too big and bits of grass and hay and all sorts of things and she built up the sides so it was nice and smooth and she put a dome on the top and left one side with a perfect magpie size hole in the side. The long tailed tits came to watch. This looked intriguing. They were, quite in, they were quite excited by the idea. A roof, that was perfect. So they went off and they built their own nest with little sticks and bits of grass and they lined it with moss and lichen. Meanwhile, Magpie was trying to decide how to make her nest soft inside. She used some moss and she found some sheep's wool and, and she found all sorts of different things. She found some ribbon that somebody had left tied to a tree. She found lichen and, and some twine and all sorts of things. And to this day, Magpie is still trying to find the perfect things to put into her nest to make it just right for her to lay her eggs in.